Welcome to Digital Ajaxo Business Show. Really, really excited for this day. Um, I'm sure there's going to be numerous activities on lots and lots of networking, but it's my absolute pleasure to introduce our Managing Director and Founder of Founders on Web, who is going to be doing a presentation on Step Up Your Business Challenge. Santosh, over to you. Thank you very much, Rachel. Thank you very much for inviting me over here. Hey guys, this is Santosh Kumar again. And you know, as you might have heard me or seen me in various different you know, presentations or uh, in, in the keynote speakers, you know, uh, we are all about to begin our some of the key programs of business growth, you know. Uh, what we have done so far, we have launched business, uh, you know, find dozen web, you know, in 2018. And when we started, our main objective was to provide as much help and support required, you know, for the businesses, you know, as it is possible to help them, you know, connect, help them network and help them grow. Now, you know, we are starting our officially our, you know, growth program from here by the launch of Digital Age Expo. And, uh, you know, we are about to begin this program where I really wanted to, you know, uh, start it out first by acknowledging and thanking you for joining us because everybody talks about a good game. Everybody talks about how they want to change their life. Everybody talks about how they want to change their business, you know, how they wanted to build their business. But how many people really do it? I'm not sure why you got started over here with us. I'm not sure why you engage with fine there's no community. I'm not sure without talking to you how and where you want to take your business up to. But hey, you know, one thing is very much sure that you are here. It means you have invested into yourself. You have invested into your thoughts. You have invested into your future business. And if that's the case, because you are either looking for expanding your business, either you are looking for growing your business to the next level, or you are looking for some kind of you no know, part time or you know full time incomes to replace your your full time job, and you are trying to step up into the business world. You know, whatever your thoughts, whatever your things are, but but one thing is very sure that there are some expertise inside of you that you just want to bring to the world regardless of what economics we are regardless of whether we are in the COVID period regardless where we are in the downtime whatever happens but the main thing is you are here to show that this is your full-time primary focus and you wanted to make sure that you are building this you are fulfilling the dreams of your own desires and trying to build your life around whatever comes in front of him and like what like i have done you know when i started my my business career in 2009 you know 2007 pretty much you know before that i started my you know journey with you know johnson johnson 1998 but as a part time summer you know time you know work i when i passed my 12th i started working with you know uh, standard chartered and when i started working with the standard chartered you know over there, I think, you know, I was doing credit card sales in 1996, you know, now at that point, you know, credit card sales has come to the very, you know, it was very immature world for the, you know, credit card sales in, in India. It is now what has happened. I was fortunate enough to look into that and I was fortunate enough to go, uh, you know, find a manager and find a company like in Standard Chartered, not a great company, I would say, whereby, you know, you can literally, you know, just gain everything on day one. But what it gives you, it gives you lots of opportunities to learn and grow yourself, you know. And one thing is very sure, which I personally, I will recommend, I can, you know, bet million pounds over there that, you know, if you can put yourself for learning, there is no stoppage to it. You know, so I still remember those days, you know, in that, those days, pretty much, you know, we were going out, I had got a full suitcase of, you know, uh, myself going to the office, traveling by one hour into a train, going into office from there every morning, having a morning meeting with the sales team. And then over there, everybody get disturbed from the office within an hour's time. The reason behind that is our manager used to say, if you're sitting in the office, you're wasting my time and your time. Just get out, get out now and go there and talk to the people. Why? Because people if a salesperson has all has to be in front of the customer if you're not in front of the customer you are not doing anything over here pretty much you know anything else you know which you can do without in front of the customer that can happen in non-core hours what you need to do is you need to do something in the core hours and you know we used to go out on my first day i you know had that bag have around 100 you know farms to go out to various different businesses you know on the street on the foot you know going out and talking to people and getting the rejection one after the other one after the other you know and having no no success into that you know having the second one third one fourth one something like that and pretty much you know you can just 
see that you know day by day you are getting you know people not talking wanted to talk to you people not wanted to you know uh, you know buy anything from you people not wanted to sign up the forms you know what happens this is business right this is all about numbers game that's the formula number one in in business it's all about numbers game and the second thing which is there out of the numbers you have to find the second thing which is your magical number what's your magical number which you want to find i identified that i have to go out at least you know every day and then from there maybe on the sixth day it was i still remember you know it was around 12 30 you know very hot you know i was sweating you know but still you know having my business attire going to the you know business office and saying hey i'm coming from just standard chartered you know and they said okay you know and then you know pretty much explaining them about that i don't know whether it was my skill pretty much i was skillless anyway over there but it was just the actions massive actions you know and then you know after that that person you know when i talked about they said he said okay i'll give it a try and i just signed and i was over the boon after having that i immediately called my manager and i said hey i've signed first form you know over there and you know it was kind of the, one of the biggest experience which we can get you know so if suppose we wanted to step up that is my experience from there i think i did one more you know i did johnson and johnson you know completed my graduation post graduation in computers then i you know enrolled myself into you know uh, an mba degree which was again in systems pretty much you know education wise it was all into technology technology and technology but when i did my first you know job with johnson and johnson i started working like a business consultant under a purchasing manager and my manager was awesome you know uh, sitting in mumbai office johnson and johnson supporting the purchasing management system for my manager looking at the entire it technical systems you know in the spare time looking at that but you know looking at the entire process how the entire purchase systems work they have got certain flaws over there my manager says can you just find out and what can be done for this and then i was going over there talking to various different departments talking to various different you know uh, companies and trying to find out you know what what can we do to accelerate this point of things how can we improve the process you know what can be changed over here technically if there is any problem how can that be resolved you know those kind of things happen that was my first consultancy program which i would say which i started in 1998 you know from there i think it's a history you know i you know started from there came to uk worked with you know companies like fmcg in the mark you know in last you know 2022 years i have worked in the you know retail area you know one of the biggest clients which we have got as of now is in the us you know they are into the retail area I've worked with the companies like bnq uh, screwfix supported their systems you know supported their environment for the business uh, uh, change worked with you know southampton university as a you know engagement program or transformation program we worked with various different you know companies like bt hmrc you know you can and just name it so government funds you know just to name the industries experience wise i'm sharing the experience from you know fmcg market the retail market the financial market you know uh, uh, you know uh, maybe healthcare you know insurance you know various different you know uh, sectors and you know it's it's the learning which i i was saying that you know what we need to do is to succeed somewhere first we need to see whether we can we are able to learn some things or not when i started i was thinking when i started my you know career i was thinking probably like i know everything you know i am one of the best in the world nobody can beat me and every young lad who is 16 17 or 18 thinks like the same you know if i have to go back in the history and i have to tell myself you know when i was 16 or 18 or 21 i would probably say that you know what first thing which you have to do is remove that blocker remove that blocker to step up remove that blocker to just you know uh, you know learn more into the industry learn more about anything and everything which is available you know if suppose i am going for the seminars i started attending lots of seminars when we are going to the seminars or presentations the technology is changing now we are talking about this you know i'm sure the people who are sitting in the you know auditorium at the moment people who are watching us on the youtube live people who are watching on the face you know uh, facebook live or people who are sitting over here you know um, maybe it's it's all about you know finding out you know uh, you know how can we learn because that's one of the step to you know one of the you know key pillar to step up into any business challenge whether it's business or life personal professional social doesn't matter 
what we need to do is we need to be open to learn you know and that's what one thing which we started learning i think learning should never be stopped i have you know learned in a very hard way the reason i'm saying i have learned in a very hard way you know i started my you know business you know first business in 2007 you know since 2007 i started 2008 i started gcon resourcing 2009 started gcon travels 2010 i started tapes you know pretty much one after the other in the, by 2012 i was having my fingers into six businesses guys you know and believe me what i was doing i was earning from these businesses i have you know got lots of savings from my jobs which i did in last 8 to 9 years time you know i was highly paid you know when i was doing my job you know uh, at that point of time and all those money i started investing into business from 2007 and believe me you know once i did start putting into the business you know we all think that we will be going to get lots of money i was of the same thing i thought probably i am you know technology expert i have you know done my education completely devoted my education life into technology i have got lots of consultancy background on my backbone you know so it's kind of you know i can piggy back on all these experiences and i can make this whole you know experience put into one particular software product and pass it to everyone and i'll become millionaire in one year's time you know i was expecting to get my products ready in six months time but the reality is does that happen you know no it doesn't you know by 2008 i have to close down that business you know i have to fire the three people which we hired because they were not doing what i asked them to do you know they were supposed to build a product in 6 months time and here after 12 to 14 months time there was no sign of any product or any module over there you know it's kind of now i was just investing my money one month after the month month after the month and the employees what they were interested they were interested in coming to office 9 o'clock leaving at 6 o'clock I have got no intention to build the business. I have got no intention, no you know um, moral to you know support that particular business, and that's pretty much you know comes almost ninety percent of the employees. They are just worried about their month pay, month to month paycheck. They are worried about you know their their you know uh, their salaries. They are worried about you know their their hours, their holidays. That's what they are all worried about, you know. But there are only limited number of employees which will find maybe you know five to ten percent who are really dedicated into it. So as a business owner, again. The such step up what you have to do learn those tips learn those tactics and find the right people who are good for the business you know to step up over there so that's the second thing which i can say find the right people you know the third the other thing which i did you know while building this whole thing i think gcon resourcing i closed in 2009 i closed down you know at gcon tech you know travels again in 2010 i have closed the tips tips business and one after the other as i said guys you know i started six businesses by 2012 starting from 2007 and you know what i made mistakes one after the other one after the other one after the other and lost around quarter million pound you know by you know trying to do this trial and error into these five businesses which has been shut down but as a part of that learning some genius said that if you want if you don't know something just keep on practicing you know thomas edison he tried you know 10000 times before he got his success into having the bulb you know which very i see the sign of the light you know so it's kind of you know he was consistently doing the trial and error trial and error and so was i though i had lots of people who have got previous experience i lots of people they have started building the you know business Say since the industrial age, maybe 19, 1800 or something, or maybe 1853. I think you know, Andrew Carnegie he left us, you know, in 1819, I think, or 1919. So you know, before he built the whole empire, he was working with almost you know 49 different millionaires at the end of the by the end of his life. He has worked so many people. So we kind of got that legacy where lots of people have tried the business area before we started doing. So hence, probably you know. i was having a luxury to not to go and repeat those things but of course while i'm trying to build it one thing which was there the step up you know point one which i said learning you know if i am not learning about it from these people's experience if i'm not learning about you know from the you know richard branson if i'm not learning the mistakes which you know uh, steve jobs have done if i'm not learning mistakes from the you know andrew carnegie which they have done probably i'll never be able to learn all those things in my own life because life is too short guys you know i cannot have 59 or 56 years of you know steve jobs plus you know 100 years or 90 years of you know andrew carnegie or plus the <coughs> 
life of you know richard branson or in lives of you know tata groups or you know ratan tata i cannot have that long life in life is very short to learn everyone's experience you know and try it by ourselves so hence we have to build and learn from these people and try to see that you know we are able to step up our business with you know from the learnings of the others and that's what why i started doing that by 2012 you know what happened one business you know started trading which was jicon jicon you know they started trading you know various different parts of the globe to name with you know we had customers in japan we have customers in australia new zealand we had customers in us we had customers in india middle east you know uk so pretty much you know we started you know building this whole thing and that company crossed 1 million pound globally you know that's the point we have got 1 million pound but hey you know what at the same time if you see i have gone bankrupt you know not on physically but on you know not on paper but physically it means my bank account has gone zero so it has gone up it has gone down it has gone up it has gone down and i have seen that dip so many times you know but every time what was happening so here if you see this is my lifeline if suppose my favorite di dialogue and favorite kind of things where i start my life over here and i am taking this dip i have to go up to here but what happens here i go and then i drop complete deep into you know deep you know uh, problems and then i have to take this whole life and then step up over here in a hard way and this took me 5 years to reach you know what i have got i have got one more experience now to add into the business world my own experience which i am able to and happy to share with everyone and contribute to this business you know uh, people where i'll be saying hey you guys i have got the experience i am happy to share with all you guys and you don't need to go through this 5 years of deep challenge you know you don't need to go through you know you know losing millions of pounds or quarter million pound over there for yourself you don't need to close down six businesses what you just need to do is you need to find people like me or people like richard branson or people like you know and you know ratan tata or people like andrew carnegie and find the experience from these people learn from them and at least try not to avoid that mistakes but we are all human guys i think one thing is very sure if my mom says don't touch that particular glass because that's hot and i was young i will go and touch that glass because we are saying do not touch that so what's our mind is listening our mind is saying not to touch it it means there is an action word touch and we are going to touch it you know so that's what we are all human being you know we are all whenever we see negative elements we are all bound to go and do that particular activity because it it is something which entices us to go and do it of course when i have burned my hand you know at that time next time i'll not do it because i'll say my mom has said not to touch it i'll not touch it because i can see that it is going to affect my life now it is going to hurt me you know so that's what so you know there are still some people who will learn from other people but some people will think like me you know the so people who are of my mindset maybe in 2007 will say oh don't bother about every ants you know what do they know they have not studied computers they have not studied technology they have not worked with johnson and johnson they have not with worked with screwfix they have not worked with kingfisher group you know so they they have not worked for rbs they have not worked for tsb you know so why should i be listening to these guys because they don't know you know or some people might say oh he has worked in fmcg he has worked in finance market he has worked in retail market but he has not worked in manufacturing for me so why should i listen to this guys if we wanted to step up our business learning is something and one thing which i tell my team i have got a global team of around 350 people now at this point of time i am heading around 26 businesses at this point of time you know i closed my five businesses before 2012 but since 2013 none of my businesses has been closed you know the, there are you know multiple business which is happening at this point of time i'm not saying that all these businesses are you know as big as apple google or any other things but you know what i have got aspiration i have got vision i have got driving force to make these businesses at the same level what these businesses have done but you know look at the history history repeats itself you know people say that you know when you know apple was started or microsoft was started in the early 1970s you know from there they took almost 50 years to reach up to the point apple's first product which was very successful was you know ipod you know that was launched in 2011 you know 2001 sorry and after the 2001 they took another 6 years to launch the similar play product which is called iphone on the on the same backbone which is built for ipod you know but the you know that was second success for them so literally speaking they took almost 30 40 years to launch their first successful product and look at them now they had consistency they had 
had the expertise they had the skill they have got the learning you know power they have got the ability and combining all this together they managed to step up their business and they are one of the biggest you know business in the world if apple wanted to free the greece they can just you know free the entire depth of the entire greece or poland or you know maybe you know portuguese in a single quarter's profit guys you know that's how big they are now you know so it's only business which can do it but at the same time look at the second generation of the entrepreneurs and look at the google you know look at the facebook look at these guys you know they have not taken 50 years or 40 years to do that they transformed and achieved the same thing which apple and microsoft achieved within 15 to 20 years time i would say 15 years time because early 2000 was the birth of google you know same with you know 2003 4 was pretty much you know i don't remember the exact year but was the facebook you know so pretty much they have achieved the similar kind of things in in this you know how and why what has happened how this miracle happens you know See, you know, businesses, they start in the early, the industrial revolution started somewhere in the 90s or maybe, you know, late 80s, uh, you know, 1800s, you know, from there it has started and it's taken almost 100 years, 100 and, you know, 10, 20 years for people to come to the age where the information age has started. Now, in 1970s, when we landed onto the moon, that was the beginning of the information age, you know. So when information age happened, information age spanned around 30, 35 years time. By the time we went into the, you know, year 2K problems, the, it was getting matured from there. And then it, so lifespan of the information age, I would say, was around 50 years, say, for example. But now we are into the digital age. COVID has shown us what technology can do. COVID has shown us the limitations and what kind of exposure we have got. You know, we are all bound by the nature. <clears throat> Sorry, but on the top of the nature, if we talk about the suppose we have got the skills, we have got one of the biggest, strongest power, which is our human brain. You know, so if suppose we want to step up into brain, into, you know, uh, into our business world, you know, our human brain can make a miracles. And that's one thing which nobody have got it in the entire universe. You know, if we talk about the birds, they have got a routine, normal routine, you know, they will have a particular time when they wanted to fly from one, you know, from north to south or south to north, depending on the season. They have got a time when they will be hatching, you know, when they were giving the birth, you know, to their, uh, you know, uh, you know, babies or, you know, uh, laying eggs or anything which we call it as it but human body we are not dependent on that we have got mind and we can change it that's where that's how this whole thing is going to work you know because we can learn from others experience and we can step for business you know i have got guys uh, you know program which we are launching over here for the business growth it's you know 12 stage programs you know which we are going to you know release it to everyone i think the you know first program is going to call is and the seven steps of you know or seven pillars of the you know, business building blocks so that's one thing i think the second stage in that will be you know how to you know get your first customer or psychology of the first customer you know uh, that's again i'm going to share in that particular program the third program which we have got is how to get your first 10 customers you know into in, into your business so that's the third step the fourth step which you have got is how to get 1000 customers into your business the fifth step which we have got is how to convert that 10000 and 50,000 customers. So at this point of time, as a part of this entire step of program, what we are doing is we are launching that program in next few months time. You know, I will be, you know, inviting all of you guys to join us. You know, you can find the link, you know, into the YouTube or, you know, feel free to just connect me or come down to my, you know, stand and leave an inquiry with me, set up my calendar link, whatever. And I'm happy to do a free 30 minutes evaluation for all of you guys. Just try to see, of course, as I said, you know, normally if I'm going to run a session, probably I'll be charging around 2000 pound for my session but for all the people who are coming to the exhibition you know all the people who have attended my this uh, seminar or this particular presentation if you wanted to come down i'll be doing that in you know, a free evaluation you know for you know your program and try and see whether that can help anything in whatever stage you are whether you have already got your first customer or you have got no customers will work out on that whether you have got 100 customers and you're looking for more or you've got no customers and you're looking to reach it up to 100 we'll look into that one we'll do the assessment free assessment over there if suppose you have already reached up to 100 customers and you want to reach up to thousand customers we can you know look into the whole strategy and we can try to see how we can do is and we'll evaluate that in next 30, 3 30 minute session or if suppose you are already having 10 thousand customers and you wanted to go up to the 50 thousand customers we can see how we can you know travel this journey 
with you know you try to provide any help and support which our community can give with you so from there i think i would like to really say thank you very much guys for all of you to join me over here i would look forward to you know speak to you you know listen to you in the seminar tomorrow i'm going to run a workshop on how to get you know how to you know get you know our audience into your business you know and how to you know get a you know a great audience into your you know into your using facebook so probably you know, if you are available you know look at the schedule some schedule will be coming either tomorrow or day after tomorrow on this you know that's a bonus offer which you are giving again that's you know a workshop which i conduct and i charge 999 pound for that but i'll be providing in this session you know for free for all of you guys where i can literally do a practical example with you guys trying to show you and at the same time build an entire you know uh, you know build, uh, building blocks to get your own audience you know organically using the social media as one of my program so feel free to join over there i will speak to you guys you know maybe in the event or after the event but thank you very much for joining over here good luck thank you very much thank you very much santosh Right, we're going to take a break now, but we will be continuing with our live stream and look forward to our next speaker, which will be at 12 o'clock. Thank you very much. Thank you.